Good morning, my students of class six. In previous class, we have completed our first chapter of our science book. Today, we will start the second chapter, which is components of food. What is the name of the chapter? Components of food. So, before starting the chapter or knowing the different components of food, we need to know some terms. Like what is food? Okay. So what is food? It is written here. What we eat in our daily life to get our energy is called food. Whatever we are eating in our daily life or day to day life to provide our body energy is called food. Okay. So we are eating food. We are eating different types of food in our day. And we are taking this food for getting energy. Okay. So what will be the what is the function of that energy? It helps us to work. Okay. So what is food? I am repeating what we eat in our day to day life, which help to provide our help us to provide our body energy is called food. In this chapter. Uh, we can see that uh, in different parts of the India, different peoples are taking different types of food. If we consider the northern parts of the India, they are taking some kinds of uh, vegetable curry or there's so many other food they are taking brinjal as vegetable. If we consider the northern parts, sorry, southern parts of the India, they are taking idli, dosha, sambar. Okay, so. If we consider the different regions or different parts of the India, we will get the different food habit among them. Okay? So, in the why we are taking different foods? Because in the food, there are some components, okay, which are called as nutrients. So, before knowing the nutrients, we need to know what is nutrition. Okay? First, we need to know what is nutrition. Nutrition is the process of obtaining food necessary for good health, growth and development. Okay, it is a process. Nutrition is a process of obtaining food. Process of obtaining food which are necessary for good health, growth and development of our body. Okay, this process is called as nutrition. Next that term comes that is nutrients. What is nutrients? Basic components of food which which give us energy and help in growth. Nutrients are the basic components of the food which are getting us energy and ultimately which will help us to proper growth or help us to maintain or balance our body. Maintaining our growth, our development. Okay. So, these are the basic terms you need to know to start this chapter. Okay. So, we will, now we will know what are the different components or what are the different nutrients present in our food. Different nutrients of food are first one is carbohydrate. After that, protein, then fat. Then minerals, then vitamins, then dietary fiber, or roughage. Okay. 
Okay, these are the main components of our food. So, now we look into the name. That is, first one is carbohydrate, second one is protein, third one is fat. These are the main components of the food. These are the main components of the food or main nutrients of the food. And beside that, some minerals, vitamins, dietary fiber, our roughage and water is also required in our food for maintaining proper growth of our body. Okay. So, these are the main nutrients of our food. So, now, how will you know that in our food, carbohydrate is present or protein is present or fat is present? Okay. So, there are some experiments by which we can prove that in that food, carbohydrate or protein or fat is present. So, first we need to know what is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is a component of food in which carbon, hydrogen and sugar is present. Okay, carbon, hydrogen and sugar is forming the for carbohydrate. There are some different forms of carbohydrate like sugars, glucose, sucrose, like starch. Okay, say so like cellulose which we get from the plants. These are the different forms of carbohydrate. So, first we will know the taste for carbohydrate. So, uh, we need to know the um, different components of food, uh, in which food it is present or not. Okay, so for taste of carbohydrate, first we will know how to taste the uh, presence of carbohydrate in the food. Okay, so taste of This is the taste of carbohydrate. If we want to know the carbohydrate is present in the food or not, then we need to this, do this test. What is this fast? We need to take small quantity of food item. A small quantity of food item. Then we need to put 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution. Okay, 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution. How iodine solution can be prepared? We can prepare iodine solution by few, few drops of tincture iodine in a test tube half filled with water. We can make this iodine solution by adding tincture of iodine in few drops of water. So, first we will take the food item. After that, we will add 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution which we have seen earlier. Then, if the color of the food changes to blue, black or color of the iodine usually is brownish in color, okay. If the color changes to blue, black, then it indicates food content starch. Starch is a form of carbohydrate. So, it is a, indicates that the food content carbohydrate, okay. By this experiment, we can prove that in that particular food, carbohydrate is present. So, if we take any kind of potato, then we will get the positive result. Okay, but if we take the meat, we will not get the positive result for that. Because in the potato, carbohydrate is present, but in the meat, something else is present. Okay, so next we will taste the protein part. 
So next is taste for protein. Next is taste of protein. So for protein taste we will have to take small quantity of food. Food in powder. Or, or paste. Put some in a taste tube and add ten drops of water and shake it. Take it. After that, add ten drops of no. After that, we have to add two drops of caustic soda. After that, add two. Drops of copper sulfate and copper sulfate solution and ten drops of solution for caustic. Soda, then shake well. Then, if violet color appears, then it indicates presence of. Protein. So next part is taste of protein. So in your book it is written that for protein some materials are required that is copper sulfate and caustic soda. How will you make that copper sulfate solution can be prepared by two gram of copper sulfate in hundred milliliter of water. Copper sulfate can be made by two gram of copper sulfate in hundred milliliter of water. And how caustic soda can be made? Ten gram of caustic soda dissolved in hundred ml of water makes the required solution of caustic soda. So ten gram of caustic soda dissolved in hundred ml of water makes the required amount of caustic soda. Okay. By this we can uh, we have prepared that copper sulfate and caustic soda. Now what will you do? First we have to take some take some small quantity of food. If it is in solid form, then we have to make it a paste or we make it a powder of it. Then we need to keep that uh, paste or powder in a small test tube. We have to add small quantity of that, and after that we have to add near about ten drops of water inside that test tube. Then after that we have to shake it well. Say we have to shake the test tube very well, and then we need to add two drops of copper sulfate solution and ten drops of solution of caustic soda. Two drops of copper sulfate solution and ten drops of caustic soda solution. Then we have to shake it well. After that, after few minutes, we can see that a violet color appears. If violet color appears, then it means that protein is present in that food. 
if violet color does not appear that will indicate that in that food in that particular food protein is not present so if we take a small quantity of meat then we will get a positive result because in meat protein is present or if we take some quantity of chicken then we will get the positive result okay so these are the experiments of carbohydrate and protein next we will know as something about the taste of fat next ingredient next main ingredient of that food is taste of fat taste of fat for tasting fat we have to take small quantity of food and we need to take a paper and within the paper we need to crush the food okay or mash the food so that uh I'll, so that the food contain or the which whatever is present inside the food will get in the paper so after some time so or after unfolding the paper we will see that uh, some oily patches are over there okay so we will keep it for few minutes so that if any water content is present in the paper which is absorbed by the paper it will be vanished and after few some time so we will see that uh, some oily patch is present still now so it proves that the food contains fat so fats fatty food items will leave a uh, oily patch on the paper so with the help of that oily patch we can prove that in that particular food uh, fat is present so i am writing this one also So take small quantity of food. Wrap it in a piece of paper. And press it. Now, written the paper and observe carefully. If it shows oily patches. on paper that means food contain fat so this is the experiment of fat first we need to take small quantity of food then we need to wrap it in a piece of paper and press it well after that straighten the paper and observe carefully that if it shows oily patches on the paper that means food contains fat so how many ground nut nuts we will get fat so these are the main components of food today we have completed the experiments of different components next day we will learn about the vitamins roughage minerals okay and what are the different uses of them so for today that's it thank you